Uh, good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional is from 1 Samuel chapter 11, verses 1 to 3. The Word of God says, Nahash the Ammonite went up and besieged Jabesh Gilead. And all the men of Jabesh said to him, Make a treaty with us, and we will be subject to you. But Nahash the Ammonite replied, I will make a treaty with you only on one condition, that I gouge out the right eye of every one of you, and so bring disgrace on all Israel. The elders of Jabesh said to him, Give us seven days so we can send messengers throughout Israel. If no one comes to rescue us, we will surrender to you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Father, help us to make no provision for the flesh and no treaty with the ungodly. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, beloved, uh, I'm, I've switched for no reason other than I thought a, a different background might be nice this week to recording uh, my devotionals in my home office. And so you'll notice instead of the background of the white in the back uh, at church, uh, we now have uh, my bookshelves, which are just my my home office bookshelves, nothing really special. You'll notice the, the, a slightly different background. There's no really special reason why. I just thought it might be nice to uh, have a change for one day. Today, we're going to deal with a very important a very important matter. Um, the Romans 13, 14, in the book of Romans in chapter 13 and 14, 14, the Bible says, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no room for the flesh. Beloved, we cannot make a compromise with the ungodly or with Satan against the Lord. Uh, Nahash the Ammonite went up and besieged Jabesh Gilead. And all the men of Jabesh said to him, Make a treaty with us and we'll be subject to you. Instead of going and, and standing firm in the Lord, they said, Make a treaty with us. We'll, we'll give you everything. You'll be uh, the king and we'll be your slaves. Just don't kill us. They were trying to make a treaty with the ungodly. And the ungodly and Satan demand everything from us. You see, he was willing to make the treaty, but in order to make the treaty, he said, Nahash the Ammonite replied, I will make a treaty with you only on one condition, that I gouge out the right eye of every one of you, and so bring disgrace on all Israel. In order to make the treaty, they had to give up everything. And beloved, when we make, uh, when we make a compromise with the flesh, with sin, with the devil, with the ungodly, if we compromise the word of God, even in a little bit, thinking that we'll have some peace, we lose everything. There can be no treaty. We cannot make a provision for the flesh. We put on the Lord Jesus Christ and we make no provision for the flesh. Make no room for the devil. Leave no area for Satan in our lives. The elders of Jabesh said to him, give us seven days so we can send messengers throughout Israel. If no one comes to rescue us, we will surrender to you. Beloved, they uh, are looking for deliverance. But they're willing to compromise if the deliverance doesn't come. We can make no room for compromise. The, the truth of those that have lost their life for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is that there is grace in that moment. Make no compromise. Don't join in the sin. Don't say, well, if you'll just let me go or if I can just be safe, then it'll be okay. We make no compromise with the flesh. Beloved, God will preserve you. God will help you. God will hold you. But you have to hold firm to God. I have to hold firm to God. We can't have one foot in the world, one foot in sin, one foot in heaven. We have to be in one or the other. If we make a, a peace treaty with the devil, we are giving in to the devil. If we make a peace treaty with the flesh, we are giving in to the flesh instead of walking in the spirit. That's not what God called us to. God called us 
to walk in the Spirit, to be dead to the world. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, Christ liveth in me. And the life I live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 says. Let's not make this compromise. Let's stand firm, knowing that the Lord will always be with us. May God bless you as you go about your day.